Lightyear is a movie about a character from a movie where he was a toy based on a movie. This is that movie. Eh? Our hero Buzz is a space ranger who makes a big mistake and spends the rest of the movie trying to make it right. It lacks the strong emotional core of the great Pixar films, but it's beautiful at times and as a generic sci-fi adventure, it's fine. Today's math prop comes about 15 minutes into the film. Buzz is supposed to fly around this star at hyperspeed and then make it back through these three rings which help him land safely. But one of his engines blows out and knocks him off course. Buzz's computer isn't helping so he pulls out this thing here. This is a version of the iconic E6B flight computer invented in the 1930s for use in the US Air Force. The basic design was declassified after the war and since then there's been a huge variety of knockoffs and similar instruments. I made a video about one called the Kane Mark VI, you know what I'm saying? And Buzz's gadget is basically the same thing. It's a spinny thing that slides in front of a polar coordinate graph, and you use it with a pencil. Lightyear is set in a sort of generic science fiction universe, presumably in the deep future. This isn't the real world, so who am I to say what fits and what doesn't? The E6B was made totally obsolete by electronics, but it's being used here as an emergency backup, so I guess it's believable. Certainly looks cool and seems to fit the design of the universe, so alright. The E6B flight computer is used to add vectors to compute a plane's true heading. Usually you take your plane's natural speed and direction produced by the engines, and you use the E6B to add in the wind speed as an offset. So the standard use case is when you have a specific known trajectory that you're supposed to be on, but you're being pushed off course by the wind or some other force. And this is exactly the situation Buzz is in here. He's supposed to be headed straight for the rings, but his blown engine pushed him off to the side a bit. So Buzz needs to figure out his actual direction now, and also decide how much of a little push he needs to get back on course. I'm a little shocked, but the E6B is actually the right tool for the situation that he's in here. Buzz also starts doing some geometry. This is all kind of nonsense here. The E6B doesn't require any extra calculations on paper, certainly not drawing a bunch of diagrams like this. The diagram is cool looking, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. In summary, I give Lightyear my math props rating of good. Thanks for watching, and thanks to C.L. Haley for the tip. Let me know if you see any more.